good morning, everybody. My name is Vanessa. I am the sales and marketing um, person with um, with Ziggin, and also joining me today is Ed Delalian, who is not only the president of Ziggin, but he's also the chief engineer, so he's kind of a big deal. Um, thank you so much to Davis for um, hosting this webinar, uh, for the sales team, and for any awesome integrators that happen to hop on, or anybody that is viewing this, you know, on their computer at a later date. Thank you for clicking play or for joining us. Um, so again, um, Vanessa, that's who I am, and uh, Ed uh, is our uh, the owner of Ziggin. And really quickly, I wanted to give everybody a quick background on Ziggin. Um, Ziggin is a we're really an engineering firm more than we are anything else. Um, what happened here was that one day Ed years ago was an integrator, and he's doing all of these great installs. And he started having some issues. He was having issues using one product throughout the duration of his installation. He was having to jump back and forth between different products for the different installations that he did. There wasn't a single product in the HDMI, HD based T world that would work for every single install he had or that would work in every single section of his install. Um, this is kind of an issue. He got tired of the zigzag in between the different um, the different products. Um, oh, somebody should probably go ahead and put themselves on mute there. I'm hearing some background noise. So anyway, he's feeling he's getting all that zigzagging, and so he decided, in his infinite wisdom, that he just wanted to go ahead and um, create his own product. He's going to eliminate all this stuff for himself, and he's going to make a product that's going to work for him. And that became Ziggin because he got tired of the zigzag. Um, so basically what Ed created was a set of extenders, uh, matrices, balance. Uh, we now have cables. Uh, and he created these products specifically for himself, for an integrator, with the integrator in mind. So you know that these are going to work for every single one of your installs. So all that said, that's, that's the background of Ziggin and, and how Ed came up with these products. And he built a great team behind himself. We're a really small company. Um, and like I said, we're really an engineering firm more than we are anything else. Um, so you know that you're really going to get some quality. So there's a couple things about Ziggin that we call the Ziggin standard. Um, these are things that we utilize for all of our products. It sets our company culture. And it really resonates through everything that we do. The first thing is that, um, oh, maybe I should move this thing here, um, that we are designed and engineered all of our products by our Ziggin engineers led by Ed right in Los Angeles, California. All of our products are designed from the ground up, every single part in L.A. So nothing is white box, nothing is OEM'd, nothing is sourced. Everything is thoughtfully and creatively designed right there in um, in California, and it's all of our own intellectual property. Um, Ed is really passionate about um, advanced design and future-proofing his products. So it's really important for you guys to understand that once you put a Ziggin product in, whether it's a an extender, whether it's a switcher, uh, a ballot, even one of our cables, it's future-proof. So it's not something that's going to all of a sudden need a random firmware update or it's going to quit working. Uh, it's not going to become obsolete in two, three, even ten years. These products are truly made to be to go the long haul. Um, so the next step is our reliability and effectiveness. Ziggin really prides itself on our rigorous uh, quality control. Each unit is checked, double checked, triple checked before it ever gets to our distribution channels or to our dealers. Um, that's really important. We have a 0.05% failure rate. Our products are going to work and they're going to be effective for you. Um, we utilize the highest AV performance standards, and then we put Ed's AV performance standards on top of that, which means that our products aren't ever going to hit the shelf until they have been checked, 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 checked for bugs, glitches, and again, that future-proofing. Um, as a matter of fact, we have a couple products right now that are ready to go to market, but they're not quite up to Ed's Standard. They're not working at the very tip top of what they can do. A lot of companies are going to throw that out there and they're going to let the dealers 
filter back all the glitches for them. And we just, we don't believe in that. We're going to try to fix and make everything as perfect as possible before it gets to you. Ed's a little bit of a perfectionist. Uh, it drives me crazy, but it really is a benefit to our, uh, to our uh, dealers. Um, and the last thing, our part of our Ziggin standard is that three-year warranty. But I have to tell you, chances of you actually having to use the warranty, they're pretty slim. But it is there just as a little bit of a, a backup because, you know, things happen. But like I said, it's not a, something you're going to probably have to worry about. So through all of that, you're probably thinking to yourself as a distributor or as a, as a dealer, that's so great, Vanessa. We're so excited to listen and learn about another product, another extender, another cable, another bow, another matrix. Why on earth would we want to sell or buy another product? Because obviously, this is an extremely, extremely crowded category. Everybody and their mother has these products. Even when it comes down to cables, you can run up to your drugstore up the street or probably even your gas station and buy an HDMI cable, or you can hop on Amazon if you're a dealer. Um, I know that there are tons of um, these types of products sitting in the shelves um, at, at Davis. So what makes Ziggin actually different? Why would I want to take the time to sell or buy these products? The very biggest difference are right here. So the first thing is that we have autonomous EDID management. So this is a really, really big deal. So what does that mean for you? This essentially is going to take all the guesswork out of your installation when it comes to these things. Uh, you'll notice if when you look at our, um, when we go to look at our balance and when we go to look at our, I mean our extenders and we look at all of our products, there's no dip switches, there's no rotary dials, knobs, or anything like that. There's no need for it because again, um, our products are auton uh, autonomous EDID. There's no need for a, an EDID table on the chassis. Uh, you can always be confident because this is automatic that your display is going to be showing the content at its highest possible standard. So again, this is one of the hardest things in the industry to do, this autonomous EDID management. But Ed and the team have figured it out. It's kind of our secret sauce, and it's just it's a foolproof way to make sure your installation is going to work and it's going to save you time. Uh, the next thing we've got here is that we don't utilize color space conversion. Um, in our in our products, uh, color space conversion actually chokes your performance. It essentially eliminates pixels um, when it's going through its process, and then instead of putting the pixels back in when it gets to your screen, essentially what it's doing is it's guessing. It's guessing the pixels by what's around it, and that's what it puts on your screen. Um, we use uh, DSC, which is um, digital screen conversion, um, and I have a, actually an image here. Let me see if it'll let me take you to it. Hold on just a sec, guys. Sorry about that. So this is the um, DSC conversion versus color space conversion. On the top is the digital space conversion versus the color space conversion. And really, color space conversion, although it, it dims down um, all the colors, you can really see it in your blues and reds. Um, we don't utilize that process. We use, again, like I said, the, um, the display um, screen conversion. And obviously, it makes a difference. So you're going to have uh, brighter blues. You're going to have a sharper red. You're going to have that actual Coca-Cola red instead of just something similar. Your greens, your yellows, everything is going to be a lot sharper. And that's really important. So you're going to see a definite, um, you're going to see a definite uh, show there. Oops. All right. Um, so the next, the next thing that really makes us different is that we don't have any choke on performance. Um, we truly believe in just being a, um, a medium. We just pass the information from the source to the display. We want to make sure that whatever the content creator had in mind, what they actually created the, the data in, we want that to go directly to your screen. By us just being a, a medium, we're not putting that choke on performance. We're not tricking the source into thinking it makes a direct connection with the display. Everything goes seamless, it's quick, and it eliminates a lot of just little itty bitty issues that turn into big issues later on down the road. So when you put all that together, it comes back to our reliability. Um, Ed's favorite saying is that all of our products are plug and play, not plug and pray. 
Um, so basically, you always know that when you plug our product in, A, it's going to work, it's going to have a superior image, and it's just it's going to be a reliable product. You're not going to have to worry about going back to it later. Those things together really are what sets us apart. So um, I'm going to go ahead and we can start looking at some of our extenders here. So our first, we have two different flavors of extender, of these, random, these uh, standard HDMI extenders. They both have a 70 meter and a 100 meter um, option here. All of our extenders utilize HD based T technology. It's tried, it's true, it's known for its reliability. And like I said, our first one up here is our um, contractor series HDMI extender. Um, again, it has that autonomous EDID management. It's got that HD based T technology. Um, it is HDCP 2.2 compliant, HDMI. It supports all of the HDRs. Uh, it is bidirectional. You have bidirectional power and bidirectional IR. It supports the RS-232. Um, and then you have the uh, 4K 60 hertz 444. That's going to go um, up to uh, 40 meters for your 70 meter. And then you have a full 1080p on the 70 meter. When you get to the 100 meter, you're going to get 70 meters of that 4K 444 at the 60 hertz. And then you're going to get a full 100 of the 1080p. Um, Ed, if you're on, do you have anything to uh, you want to add about this contractor series that I missed? Because I am known to do these things. Uh, the only thing that I would add is the bidirectional IRRS-232 and the power. Uh, you have the ability to send the power from either transmit side or receive side. That's the only thing that I would add to it. All right. See, I almost had that one right. All right. So again, that one's in a 70 or a 100. Our next one up is the Pro Series HDMI extender. So again, just going back to that contractor series, that's our what you would call entry level product. What I think is really neat about our entry level product is it's going to outperform our competitor. Most of our competitors' um, premium or higher end um, products. Um, next up, we've got uh, the Pro Series. This is our this is the this is the big one here. So it still supports all the standard pro, uh, standard stuff, just like the other one. It still has that HD base T. Still has that autonomous EDID, all the HDR. But this product, of course, is supported by Dolby Vision. We have um, a Dolby Vision certification. We partner directly with Dolby Vision. They utilize our extenders and our matrices in their, um, their installations around the world, which is a pretty big deal that our products are high quality enough for them to utilize. So we, we're really proud of that. Um, the main difference for this uh, Pro Series extender here is that it has, because this is a, a POE, um, it does have what we call a gatekeeper. So we utilize the IEEE technology in the extender, and that allows us to communicate with uh, connected devices, and we can ask questions to that connected device. So um, the example that Ed tends to use is uh, if you have this, you're utilizing this extender, and you are working with a really high-end um, projector. So if your installer accidentally takes the, um, the HD base T output, and he plugs it into the wrong input on this projector, into the Ethernet port maybe, um, without a gatekeeper, you now have pretty much destroyed your uh, projector. Now you have about a, whatever that cost was, you have a smoking projector, so now you've got an irritated, you know, boss, or you're an irritated installer and your end user is pissed. With our IEEE gatekeeper that is built into this product, our, that technology uh, inside of our, our extender, it's going to ask questions. It's going to ask that projector, um, do you support power? Do you support video? Do you support audio? If we don't get an answer for these questions, we're not going to open the floodgates and let out the power or let out the data. So basically, we're going to protect your projector before this issue of anything smoking even starts. So this is a pretty big deal. Um, you know, we can't always stand on top of our, our um, installers. You know, accidents happen. We're moving really quick. Now you just have a, a, you have a little bit of a, a safety device built right in protects you and your company. Um, the other thing that's really big about this one is that it supports the audio return channel. So uh, with our um, uh, embedded audio return channel, you won't have a need for audio extenders going from the TV to an AV receiver. 
So that's kind of a big deal. However, if you do need an audio extender at some point, we do have a couple of those, and I can show those to you at another time. So just so you know, though, we do have those available. But again, we support ARC, so you're not going to have to worry about it with this particular product. Um, the other big difference is that the uh, Zig um, Pro, the 100 meter, this one actually supports the 4K 60 hertz 444 for the full 100 meters. That's a big deal. Um, it does support the 1080p for the full 100 meters, but you're also getting that 4K 444 on that um, that 100 uh, for the full the full uh, 100 meters. Um, Ed, did I miss anything? No, I think you pretty much covered everything. The only uh, thing that I would mention is the engines. Uh, uh, these utilize uh, better processors or the, the engines, if you will. Um, yeah, I would compare the, these extenders, the POC, to like a Toyota Camry and the uh, POE Pros to more like a Ferrari, you know, high-performance engines. So if you need that extra horsepower, um, then the POE Pro would be the most more ideal. Yeah, you know, the Toyota Camry is a great car. It's steady, it's reliable, and it goes. But, yeah, that Ferrari has the better engine and is definitely a flashier product. So I think that's a great example. I'm not a car person, but I'm going to let that slide, Ed. <laughs> All right. Uh, so next uh, extender that we have is our uh, new fiber optic HDMI extender. This actually only started shipping this past summer. Check it on the time here. Good. Um, this only started shipping this past summer. Um, and it's doing really well. Uh, again, it has the autonomous EDID management. Um, this is obviously uh, fiber optic, you know, HDMI over fiber. So you can extend your HDMI over 300 meters, which is 1,000 feet on the OM3 or the OM4 multimedia fiber. Or you can do um, 6,560 feet on the single mode fiber. Uh, again, it does the HDMI 2.0, 2.2 for HDCP, and the 1.4. Just like everything we have, it is supported uh, Dolby Vision at 60 hertz. You've got your HDR. Um, it supports um, 8, 10, and 12-bit. It is 18 gigabits. And um, you've got your ARC channel, toss link, in and out. And let's see, the toss link is actually pretty cool. You can actually um, take sound out of your smart TV. Uh, you can send that to your AV receiver much uh, simply, much more simply and easily than you have in the past with other extenders. Um, because this is still a newer product, um, I'm sure I've missed something. Ed, did I did I skip anything on this fiber optic extender? Uh, nope, you pretty much nailed everything. Um, the only correction I want to make is multi mode, not multimedia. So it works on a oh, sorry, single multi -mode. mode or multi mode fiber. That's it. For the most part. All right. For the most part. Um, if you have any <laughs> questions, definitely tuck those back in your head or write them down, send them uh, to Joel, and we'll answer them for you. Um, you know, Ed is uh, one of the thought leaders and creators of this um, this channel of, of this uh, HDMI and HD base T um, category. So anything, any questions you have, we can definitely help you out with those. Okay, I say we. Ed can definitely help you out with those. I'm still, I'm still figuring it all out myself. So um, one of the other things about Ed and the engineering team at Ziggin is that they're problem solvers. And so this is actually uh, this next product or these next couple products um, that I wanted to show you um, are a problem solver for us, for a lot of dealers. And this is actually a presentation option. This can allow you to um, actually control a room for a huddle room, for a small conference room or, a, or any type of conference room, for a doctor's office, a hotel, even somebody's home office. Um, if you take our um, RxAV and our POEWP100, which is the wall plate, you can actually have a, a training and presentation room. So what you get when you put these two pieces together is that you've got the perfect training and presentation room. You have um, some control options. It's easy for setup, and you only need two pieces. So when you look at these together, you've got your um, RxAV receiver here. Um, it's got an audio amplifier built in. So you pull that together with your um, with your wall plate here. This also has autonomous EDID management. Um, it goes for 100 meters. There's also a URL built right into uh, sitting on the side of this um, 
this piece here. Uh, you can't see it on the picture, but it is down there. You can go to that URL, and you're going to have a control page. You can go in. You can set controls um, so that if you have somebody, you know, they, you have it set so you come in, your presenter comes in, they plug into the port, and now maybe the lights will dim and the screen will go down. All of this can be done automatically right through here. Um, this is a great option when they don't want to have an entire control platform in just one space. So it's just a great, quick, easy installation. Um, FEMA utilizes this particular um, pairing uh, in their, pro in their um, offices across the country. So, you know, this is something that's definitely used um, and is very powerful. Uh, Ed, you have anything you want to add? Nope, nope. You've got everything. Awesome. All right. So next up, we have um, our matrix matrices and switchers. We have a bunch of different uh, flavors of these. I'm just showcasing one today. This is just a, our, our first one. This is the HXL44. Uh, but again, um, if you have any other needs, we've definitely got them for you. Um, Ultra HD 4K certified. They're all Dolby Vision certified. Um, all the HDRs, the Dolby Vision HDR at 60 hertz. Um, it does have, this is a big one, it has HDCP 2.2 and 1.4, and it allows those two to be backwards compatible, so that if you are using separate sources of HDCP, uh, you will still be able to put both of those in through this matrix, and you're going to still get your image without that blue screen. Um, it supports um, RS-232 IR. Um, now, we also have Zignet which is our diagnostics tool. That is built into all of our um, matrices and switchers and also our IP logic, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. Um, this is a really powerful tool. Standalone, this piece of software, is worth about $5,000, um, and we put it into all of our products for you. So the ZigNet diagnostic tool is something else that really differentiates us um, with our matrices and our switchers. Um, it really allows you to be in complete control of, of your installation, of your matrix or your switcher. Um, it's got um, EDID management. It's got video and audio controls. It's got diagnostics and alerts. It's going to give you full metadata. Um, it's the diagnostics monitors the health and uh, provides disposition for your system. Um, it's got customizable email alerts for you. You can get them hourly, daily, weekly, you can, it's all that stuff. It uh, provides alerts for uh, video loss, overheating, um, humidity, anything you can think of. It's all built in there. I'll show you a couple of these. Ed, I'm going to let you uh, talk a little bit about the auto, uh, about Zignet. This is kind of Ed's, Ed's baby here. Um, do you have any, any, um, anything for that, Ed, or for the matrices? Well, you covered it for the most part, but the most beneficial thing, I guess, is the remote access. So it eliminates the truck rolls. So you have a problem uh, out on the job site, you will be notified before it even becomes an issue or a problem. So you can log in remotely from your office and, you know, uh, saves you a uh, truck roll up to the job site to figure out what the problem is. Uh, case in point, Saturday night, cable company sends a, a firmware update to their cable box, and usually what happens after that firmware updates, the boxes will hibernate. They go into sleep. Uh, oh, we just lost uh, that. But case in point oh, is uh, usually when that happens, Sunday morning, uh, yeah, Sunday morning client will turn on the TV, try to watch TV, and they get a blue or black screen, source not available, and you get that uh, phone call. Uh, with an angry customer, but uh, this way you could be more proactive. Uh, say the matrix sends you an email alert notifying you of the source not be, uh, being active or valid, um, then you, at that point you could be proactive with your customer, give them a call, say, hey, Mr. Customer, I notice your system is down. Uh, you might want to just check that power on the cable box. So, again, another uh, way that we try to make you more proactive with your customers rather than wait for those angry phone calls to come in. Uh, a great troubleshooting tool when you're out on the job site. Again, things do happen, especially with HDMI. Uh, the diagnostics uh, page is going to allow you to monitor the health of the system and see if you have 
video content, audio content present, uh, really uh, eliminates the plug-and-chug mentality, if you will. So um, just another tool to help you guys out in the job site. That's that. So the, um, the image that you're looking at right now is showing, um, the top screen is showing how you can control the EDID um, input by input. This, uh, partic this screenshot in the back there is actually showing you some of the metadata, the metadata so that you actually have, you know, full, you just have a full report, all the information you'll ever need um, for all the fun things that you in integrators do that I, I could never manage. This is just a real quick um, look at the um, email alert setting page, um, how you want to get the email, um, and what you actually are looking for, and it'll show you everything. Um, and this real quick is just the device setting and information. So this screen actually is just a real quick snapshot of how you'll actually be able to work remotely with, um, with your Ziggin products offsite. All right, so um, those are our products, um, you know, our, our balance extenders. Those are our, you know, HD um, connectivity solutions. But now we're going to look um, at our newest product, which is truly Ed's um, baby here. This is IP Logic. This is our um, AV over IP system. So this is actually the first plug and play AV over IP platform to include its own proprietary audio matrix on the market. So essentially, we're giving you um, AV over IP with an audio matrix built in. Uh, this is a really big deal. This is allowing um, you to eliminate some extra boxes and just really streamline your AV over IP solution here. This is going to save you money in the long run. Um, and again, it's just, you know, it's so much easier to be able to just use one product instead of having to bounce back and forth. So um, this is actually designed to be plug and play. Uh, one of the neat things about this product when Ed and the team were designing it is that it can be as simple as you need or it can be as complicated or as, as um, extreme as you want it to be. It's all based on what you can do, what your skill level is, what your, your client needs. This is truly a product that can be used in any situation from residential all the way up to high-end commercial. Um, it has uh, autonomous EDID, just like the rest of our products. It's automatic scaling. It has virtually zero latency embedded in this audio network solution. Um, you'll be able to stream any 4K 60 hertz 444 source to the displays. The um, encoders and decoder units come equipped with uh, independent scalers that allows for seamless video distribution in mixed display environments. So basically, you know, you don't have to go to the lowest common denominator on your video walls or on your um, home theater installations or whatever your source is, whatever your um, situation is. You can have, you can take over um, an AV over IP situation where, you know, the uh, end user has seven different types of TVs at all different resolution levels. Most products would end up putting you down to the lowest common denominator. Everything's going to be 720. Um, with us, we'll actually utilize every single display will be performing at its highest possible standard and showing the highest, um, highest image possible for them. So if you've got a 720, that's showing 720. If you've got a 4K, it's showing 4K, and this is all coming from the same source. So we have that autonomous stuff built in there for you. Um, we also, this is a patent pending product for us. Um, it uh, offers line level audio breakouts. It can pull audio from any source. Um, the IP logic technology spectrum enables integrators to have a single product investment to perform across the markets. Again, that's stopping that zigzag. The less products that you use from different companies, you pull it all together in one, you know that it's going to be seamless from start to finish. Everything's going to talk to each other. It's going to do it well, and you're not going to have to worry about a lot of those issues. Um, another thing that makes this product line really unique is that it enables the products to play in um, multiple um, network environments. So we have um, broadcast. We have the AE, AES67 and the ST2110. We have complete control from Dante, Ravina, Livewire, NMOS and dashboard. So this is a really powerful piece here. Here's some of the standard features. Uh, we can do picture in picture. We can do tiling, multi-view, video walls. The scalers are built in. You have OSD thumbnail preview. Again, that audio matrix is built in. And like we said, it is broadcast ready for the AES67 and the ST2110. 
Um, Ed, did you have anything you wanted to add to the IP logic? This is this is his thing. This is uh, this was four years in the making. So this is uh, this is a really exciting uh, step for us. On the audio side, I will add that uh, we have five band EQ per output, and these outputs are matrixed, like Vanessa mentioned. So uh, each transmitter has a line level breakout, but you're not necessarily pulling audio from that particular source. You could ask the unit to pull the audio from any given source um, on that uh, network there. Um, AES67 and ST2110, these are broadcast quality or commercial grade audio. So again, when it comes to the audio for the commercial world, you could again pull audio from any given source or display and broadcast that over the network. Uh, it's literally plug and play. A lot of the commercial amps uh, have the AES67 built into it. so. It's backwards compatible to, uh, with all the major players. Um, that's when it comes to audio. Um, what I got. So right now, oh, go ahead. Okay. So right now we're working on drivers for everybody. This can be a standalone piece. You don't have to include anything else with it. However, we are working on drivers with RTI, URC, and all all the uh, big players, Control Four and um, and the like, uh, Crestron. Um, and so as we're working on that, those will show up on our website and we'll let you know. Um, but that's, that's our IP logic. That's, that's a really big deal for us. It's our newest move. Um, the Dolby Vision, they're utilizing this product. Um, as a matter of fact, Dolby Vision did a demo with this product specifically in the UK a couple weeks ago. And, um, that went well. So we're excited to see, to see them working with it and, and utilizing it. Um, and that's kind of, that's it. Those are our main um, products that we wanted to show today. Um, I have the product list on here. We do have um, a bunch of great stuff. Like I had mentioned, we have um, some problem solvers. You know, if you're looking at this, the very top line is the HDMI extender over single coax. Is that something you're going to use every day? Probably not, but it's always there if you need it. We always have dealers that come to us and say, you know, I just kept one on my truck and look at just randomly. I took over an old install and it worked out. So we're there for you for any small or large type of issue. Um, we do have um, the audio products like I had talked about. We have the Zig Pack, which is a big one. That's an um, active line level digital um, analog stereo audio extender. That one is utilized quite a bit. Um, we also have the uh, Zig RAE, the Zig Ray. That's um, an HDMI repeater and audio extractor. Those are, um, I think, both purchased by Davis. Um, so they're there if you need them. Um, points. We really want to make sure that when you're utilizing our products as a dealer, as an installer, that you're, you know, that it's going to be worth your time and your money. So not only are you getting 40 points, but you're also getting the reliability and the uh, elimination of those truck rolls so that you know these products are going to work. So we're saving you money everywhere. Um, this is the Zig Ray, if you were interested in looking at it, the repeater and audio extractor. HDMI input supports HDCP 2.2, and the output supports HDCP 1.4. That's a good one there. Um, there's the Zig Pack for you. This is the digital to analog uh, digital converter. Um, the audio extender has Toslink, coax, and stereo. So that's a pretty big one. This one does very well for us across the country. The only thing um, I would add you? to PAX is, oh, sorry to cut you off. Yeah, the only oh, thing that I want to add to PAX is, uh, it's, it's, it's got a DAC built into it, so it could convert from digital to analog or from analog to digital. Case in point, toss link in, out of your TV, analog out to amp if need be. So we could convert that digital signal into analog. No additional devices needed. Uh, one extender does it all automatically. From Ed's brain right to you. I think this type of product is exactly showcases why we're so powerful in the fact that we have, you know, an integrator making our product, making the Ziggin products for us. He really, Ed and the team, they really do think of everything and try to make, make the products as easy as possible for you. So when I first came on to Ziggin and Ed told me I had to sell HDMI cables, I'm not going to lie to you, I was kind of irritated because, again, everybody has HDMI cables. However, now I'm, I've been converted. I drank the Kool-Aid. This is probably the strongest and the most powerful HDMI cable that I've come across. I've been in the industry about seven years. I come from distribution. 
I, I know how many cables are out there and what they say. Um, this is a Dolby Vision, uh, Dolby Vision supported 12-bit um, HDMI cable. It has HDR support. It has ARC support. Um, it is bi-directional and passive. We're, again, we're just acting as a medium. And when I told you earlier that um, we pride ourselves um, on doing everything in-house right there in LA, this cable is no exception. Ed actually worked on every single minute piece of this cable right down to the copper blend. And I always joke that I see him in my head, you know, in his office playing with different types of copper, trying to find the perfect, the perfect blend that's going to make this, make this so great. Um, this has a uh, locking uh, grip connector. You can actually plug this into one of our extenders. This supports 20 pounds of, um, it has 20 pounds before it'll actually release the, um, release the locking grip, which is pretty phenomenal. I put, I, I, I'm not going to lie, I tried to destroy this table at Infocom. I stuck one of our extenders on it. I flung it around. I tried to, you know, mess with the connector. It's a really strong piece. It's, it's intellectual, but it's, it's unique to us. Um, the other thing about this cable that I find so phenomenal is that it is a, a thicker cable. It is thicker because it's taking a lot of information. It's a really strong cable. It's going to let a lot of data through. Um, is that it's flexible. It's bendable. Um, you, a lot of things that we heard was, oh, nobody's going to want to put a cable that thick in the back of their television. It's, you know, they can't get it into the back of the television because it doesn't have the right angle. It's too stiff. You can actually take this cable, and this is a full 4K, you know, full cable. I can kink the cable like you would kink a garden hose and try to, I tried to stop the, the data. I tried to stop everything getting through it. I kink this thing in three different places, plus put a right angle right there at the end by the, by the connector head. I plugged it into a um, 4K uh, testing device, and this cable still was 100% quality, 100% 4K right through here. Um, it's an amazing cable. Uh, you know, if you're going to put a Zigan product in, you might as well do Zigan all the way through and eliminate those weak spots. So this is what we're doing here. We also have a, a standard 4K, uh, 4K um, passive cable that we sell that's um, a little bit less expensive. Um, Ed, did I miss anything on your cable? Nope. You, you got right. everything pretty much, and uh, we support up to 16-bit on this particular cable. Um, again, the bi-directional is a, a pretty big thing because a lot of times uh, installers will pull these cables without looking the connectors uh, when dealing with active cables, that is. But with us, it doesn't matter. You could pull it any which way, and it's going to work. So there, there are no inputs, no outputs. Each connector could be – each side or end could be an input or output. It's bi-directional, nothing active about the cable, and we pass the full data through. And again, all this stuff is um, available from your your Davis um, from your uh, sales team at Davis. And then, of course, if you're with Davis, you just give Ed or I a quick email or phone call, and we'll make sure you have that information as well. Um, so we do have some very strategic partnerships. Obviously, um, we are a member of the HD Base T Alliance, um, the SDVOE Alliance, and of course, Dolby Vision. Um, so that's all that there for you. Um, you can contact us at any time directly. Um, of course, you purchase all your products um, through Davis. Uh, but if you have any questions, you know, we're always welcome. You're always welcome. You can email us at info at ziggincorp.com. Our phone number is right up there for you. Um, you're welcome to reach out to Ed or I with any questions, um, dealer or, you know, sales team with Davis. We're always here for you. And, and that's all Ed and I have for right now. Um, that, that's what we got for you. That's Ziggin in a nutshell.